Hi, Captain Raps here. We had a, another great lip ripping adventure on the water today, and uh, we got to rip some lips with some mangrove snapper. So I'm going to show you a recipe that I really like to cook. It's a real simple recipe, um, and what we're going to do is assemble the fruit salsa first, uh, because we have to put that all together. It has to sit in the refrigerator for about a half an hour and get happy, and um, and just let all the flavors blend together. So I'm going to assemble that first. And what we've got are uh, some fresh chopped kiwis, some cilantro. Um, I've got a mix of different sweet peppers in here. There's some green, uh, orange, and red. Uh, any will work as long as they're sweet. Um, doesn't matter what color they are. We've got some jalapeno pepper, some sweet vanilla onions. Um, I'm going to show you how to cut a mango. I can cut that up first because there's a certain way to cut that. Not a lot of people know how to do it. And um, we got some lemon, because we need some citric acid in there. Um, and some salt and pepper. And a little bit of sugar to make it sweet. So what I'm gonna do, I think first, is cut up this mango so that everybody knows how to do it. Um, not a lot of people know how to do it. They, they fuss with it and uh, you, know, you end up cutting half of the pit off. But you can see a mango is kind of narrow and fat uh, on either side. So if you cut down, the, the pit runs right down this narrow spot. If you cut right down this, the side of the pit, We'll get a nice slice of just mango fruit right there. And the best way to get it out of there, I've seen people try to take a spoon, uh, all different ways. The best way to get it out of there is to kind of cut like a uh, checkerboard in here. So you, you cut, slice down one way, and I'm not cutting through the skin, I'm just going like to the skin. And you cut down this way. So we've made a lot of crisscrosses, and uh, that's how you get your mango meat right there. So it kind of forms like a little crown, and you can just slice off a little piece of the mangoes. And from here, these are bigger chunks. Uh, for this type of salsa, I like to have them much smaller. So if you got them off for now, so what I do is then slice that down again. And just make little bitty chunks. Doesn't have to be neat, doesn't have to be uniform. I have a friend that has everything that has to be completely uniform. Try to be nuts. So anyway, what you do, is go ahead and put your mango in the bowl. And if you get a good, ripe mango from the store, it shouldn't be chalky, uh, it should be like real sweet. It should, it should almost be the consistency of canned peaches. I think it's the best way to describe it. So we've got our mango in there. We're gonna go ahead and dump our peppers in. Get just the right amount in there. Uh, get your kiwi in there. And, uh, I'm gonna put some onion in, but I don't think I'm gonna put all this in there. Just a little bit of onion, just to give it a little bit of a taste there. Um, jalapeno peppers, uh, I pulled all the seeds um, out from the middle of that, so all the heat should be gone. So dump in that nice amount of jalapenos. And we've got some fresh cilantro cut up, ready to go. And then uh, let's put the juice from one lemon in. You gotta squeeze it real good, massage it, and get the juices going. So we're going to put in the juice of one lemon. And just to sweeten it up a little bit, just a little bit of sugar. And salt and pepper to taste. I always use sea salt. Is that better than regular salt? So we get a little bit of that. And a bunch of pepper. Okay, just gonna mix that together and then let it sit in the fridge for, probably best to let it sit for about an hour before you serve it. And that's it, put it in the fridge. Okay, now that we've got the tropical fruit salsa in the refrigerator, getting happy, um, what I'm gonna do is uh, cook the snapper out here on the grill, which is my favorite thing to do. I never like to cook fish in the house, if you can get away with it. Um, you know, weather permitting. Uh, who wants their house stinking and smelling like fish anyway? So uh, what I'm gonna do is come down here now and uh, I'm gonna coat these uh, fillets. And I, I like to use a lot of seasoning, you know, don't be afraid. This is not spicy at all, it's not hot. It just has a lot of good flavor. Um, so I sprinkle, sprinkle it liberally all over the fillets. And uh, you wanna, you know, pretty much coat them. Uh, and do both sides. I'll flip them over once we get one side real good. Flip it over. Get nice, even coverage. 
So then what I do is, uh, those are all coated now, those are good, and uh, if we come up to the grill now, um, I've got a cast iron skillet that I really like to cook with. Um, I've got olive oil in there, you can use whatever oil you like to use most. Uh, some people like vegetable oil for their frying, some people like peanut oil. I like them all. Olive oil is supposed to be the healthiest, so that's what I typically use. So um, the oil is already hot and uh, you can go ahead and just place your fillets in there. And uh, you can tell it's already sizzling hot. And these tend to cook pretty quick. Um, I'm going to guess uh, at a nice temperature like this, I've got it on about a medium high. Uh, we're probably looking at about um, maybe three minutes on each side. Um, and since snapper is really thin, um, I like to get it you know, nice and brown. It gets a little crispy that way and uh, gives it a real nice good flavor. You can kind of see as it cooks that uh, you lose sort of the, uh, the translucence of the, the raw fish and it starts to turn a little white on the edges, which is an indication that it's ready for flipping. So I'm going to go ahead and flip them now. See how that's got a nice golden crispy layer to it? That's exactly what you're looking for. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to give it about another uh, three minutes probably on this side too, and then I'm going to get in there and show you how, when, uh, when it's fully cooked, how it flakes just right. And you'll know it's done like that all the time. You never want to overcook it. It gets dry real fast, and uh, you want it to be moist. Okay, so now it's cooked about another uh, three minutes on this side. And uh, I can tell just by looking at it that it, it's done. Um, but I'm going to show you what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put your spatula in one of them. And you can see how it flakes right apart. That means the meat's done. If it cuts right apart like that, it's done. If, if you go in there and it won't come apart like that, that means the meat's still raw and it needs a few more seconds. Um, so we're going to go ahead and shut this off and pull them off of there and put them on a plate. And get ready to serve them up. Okay, snapper's hot off the grill, nice and cooked. Uh, we just took the, uh, the mango fruit salsa out of the fridge. It's been in there for uh, oh, about 45 minutes to an hour now. And uh, the flavor should have blended together really good. So what you want to do when you plate this is uh, go ahead and take, you know, snapper's small, especially around here, one's a little small. Um, you can take one piece for a serving here. What I like to do is just put a nice amount of saucer right on top of that. And that's it, that's a finished plate right there. I'm going to set up four for our studio audience. right here, uh, ready to enjoy, and um, I think that you should join me on the water so that we can catch some of these great snapper and you can cook them up fresh just like we did. So log on to captainrack.com and uh, come enjoy a day on the water.